In this video we're going to take uh, just a very quick look at the Exchange Server 2013 preview and the changes to the management tools which has been a, a topic of some discussion in the community. The Exchange 2013 preview uh, was released publicly and uh, a lot of people are discussing the changes and the move away from a graphical administration uh, console or a GUI that's based on uh, the MMC technology and moving to a web-based administration console. So I'm just going to show you which management tools are available in Exchange Server 2013 Preview. Now I've got a couple of servers here to demonstrate with. This first one is uh, running Windows Server 2008 R2 with Service Pack 1 and I've installed only the Exchange 2013 Client Access Server role on this server. And in the Start menu Microsoft Exchange Server 2013 menu group is there and there's only three options here the Exchange Management Shell, the Help and the Exchange Toolbox. So there's no Exchange Management Console listed here and uh, there's no link here in the menu to what is known as the Exchange Administration Center which is the new web-based console. We can access that through our web browser uh, simply by going to uh, HTTPS fully qualified domain name of the server and slash ECP and that will take us to a uh, OWA style logon screen here for the Exchange Admin Center. Now on this client access server uh, I'm receiving this certificate error because the uh, server is installed with a self-signed certificate that is not trusted at the moment uh, which is the default certificate that's installed so I'm yet to go ahead and configure a valid SSL certificate on this server. Over here on my other server, which is running Windows Server 2012 uh, Release Candidate, I've also installed Exchange Server 2013 Preview, uh, but this time I've installed both the Client Access Server role and the Marbox Server role. So once again we can see that only the Exchange Management Shell and Toolbox have been added to the menu, and if we want to access the Exchange Administration Center, we need to do that through Internet Explorer. and this time there's no SSL certificate error. And that's because the mailbox server role is installed also with a self-signed certificate, uh, but one that is automatically trusted. So we can log into the Exchange Admin Center with uh, my admin credentials. And here's the Exchange Admin Center. As you can see, it's a very plain, uh, minimalist uh, type design. I don't know if this will be uh, the final design or if it's just a, sort of a more basic visual design uh, that's been included with the Exchange 2013 preview. So down the left here, we have all the different sections uh, that we can dive into to perform configuration. Uh, you might recall in uh, Exchange 2007 and 2010 we had sort of three main sections which were organization administration, organization configuration, server configuration and recipients. So it's uh, similar here we've got a lot more groups but they're pretty clearly uh, named according to uh, what we'll find within those groups. So here in the recipient section we've got mailboxes, groups, resources and so on and that's been put right up the top. Uh, we've also got the organization section. We can deal with uh, federation address lists. Mailflow has its own dedicated section here. Uh, so here we find you know, our accepted domains, email address policies, receive and send connectors. Mobile also gets its own uh, dedicated access. And this will look familiar, I guess, to people who've used the Exchange Control Panel in Exchange Server 2010 to perform uh, active sync and mobile device administration. Then further down here in this section we've got the servers themselves where we configure our uh, databases, database availability groups, certificates, virtual directories for client access servers and so on. So it's uh, quite a simple little uh, web-based administration console. Uh, pretty easy to find your way around, all very self-explanatory. 
and it operates in a quite functional manner. Um, much as the MMC ones do, we can uh, just we can just double click on things and bring up their properties and perform edits to them. So apart from the Exchange Admin Center, we also have our usual uh, PowerShell based uh, administration here. This is PowerShell 3 based, so um, there's a lot more. Uh, there's some new features in PowerShell 3 that would be interesting to dive into. And also uh, one MMC style um, administration tool which is called the Toolbox. And this is where we find just a link to the Remote Connectivity Analyzer, uh, the traditional uh, graphical queue viewer and also Tracking Log Explorer. So you can see things are quite different now with uh, Exchange Server 2013 preview, getting rid of the uh, the big uh, and frankly the old and slow MMC style uh, Exchange Management Console, replacing it with this new Exchange Administration Center and also giving us all that powerful uh, PowerShell functionality enhanced with PowerShell version 3.